Hi folks, Steve here from ps3spares.com and welcome to our second little video on repairing your um, PlayStation. What we're going to do at the moment is we're going to show you how to open up your Blu-ray and retrieve a um, disc that's stuck inside and we'll also then show you how to put a, repair the mechanism and put it back together. Because what happens when the um, when a disc gets stuck the mechanism gets jammed up and people think their Blu-ray is broken and it's not actually broken it's um, um, it just what we'll do now is we'll just show you how to open the Blu-ray and retrieve your disc now I've deliberately switched this off with a disc in it this is a working machine and I've done it deliberately just to show you this so you don't need to touch a logic board in order to retrieve a disc but you do need to remove the top cover and open up the um, machine. At the bottom end you have two or three um, little screws which you need to undo. Now on the 400A twin lens version it has a complete, the logic boards underneath a, a base plate but um, opening up is basically the same, you just you need to remove your little screws and then this flap bends back, don't bend it too much because you don't want to break the hinge and um, just bend it enough so you can um, you can remove the top cover and then at the back before you can remove the top cover there's two other little screws and a little spring the Twin lens versions don't have that little spring, but there you go, there's um, screws and things in the back. And yet again, just keep everything to one side. It might be a good idea when you're taking these apart for the first time to separate all your screws and things out. Um, I just put them all in one container because I know where they go. But um, if it's your first time, maybe you put them in little bags or have a piece of paper and write down you know, Blu-ray, logic board, um, console case, screws, etc. So that you don't get mixed up. Okay, so that is the screws undone. And this just slips off. Simple as that. Put the top cover to one side and there's what you'll see inside. Now, I'll turn this round. This is your spinner disc. It's just a magnetic disc that just sits in there. You can move that, turn it to one side. And if you look carefully in there you'll see I've got a disc stuck inside and then there's the front flap where the disc the disc goes into. So what we'll do is we'll open up the machine and to open your machine you have five of the same screws that your logic board's held together with, just five of these tiny little black screws. Four on the side and one at the back where the um, where the casing slopes away. The opposite end from where you put the disc in. It was one in there. Okay, so that's the screws removed. Now here's the interesting bit, and this is the bit where everyone gets um, falls short. When I remove this, you're gonna hear springs and things jumping in and out. Now, one other little thing. At the side here, you have the, on the top you've got the little sensor, which starts the motor when you put a disc in, it, it senses that there's a disc and it starts the motor, which draws, it draws the um, disc in. Now there's a little cable that runs down and goes under the logic board. It's a very fine cable, it's very fiddly. It's a good idea to undo it, just pull it out very carefully with your fingernails so that you can and so that you can remove this completely and put it put it the top end out of the way. Now the reason I say do it carefully is because this is what happens when you don't uh, hopefully you can see that the um, it gets broken basically. Now, so there you have the inside with the disc in, and you see the, this um, mechanism here, 
that draws in and pushes out the disc. So we remove our disc and that all pops back into place. But that's not the main issue. The main issue is the fact that um, this mechanism here has to has to be reset. So we'll show you how to do that. Okay. The first thing we need to do is remove this um, guide mechanism here, and it's held in place just by this little screw. So we'll undo that screw and. clicks back into place. Now underneath you'll see the mechanism motor and the cogs and what have you. So what we need to do to get this back is we either need to remove the motor or what I find easier is just remove this particular cog here and I'll hold this in place because I want you to see what happens. As I remove this cog it's now free to move because the motor is not restricting it. And if I take the finger away from here because I'm holding it in place, watch what happens. The whole thing clicks back. Your mechanism is now reset. And this part here, I'll move that closer, this part here has to be clear of that cog so it's free to move. Okay. So what we do now is just put the Cog back in. Now this sometimes be tricky, and you might have to remove the motor. Um, the reason I don't like to remove the motor is because there's two wires on it, and they're very fine. And if you lift it up, it's possible to break those, and then you've got more problems. So let's put that screw back in. Oh, and the other little thing is. This needs to go back down, and that goes back down just by pushing it to one side and it clicks, it clicks back down in. And that actually stops. This is the um, the front of your disc, or the front of the drive, and when you go to put a disc in, that little flap moves up and down. Once the disc is inside, that little lever stops anything else going in and when the mechanism runs that drops down again and allows the disc to come out so to reset you just click that across so we'll put this guide mechanism back in place and by the way just I just want to talk with this guide mechanism for a moment underneath there are a lot of um, little wheels and cogs and things and in the top there are these two very very delicate little arms now if you turn this thing upside down those arms will fall off the only thing holding them in place are two minute little springs one there and one on the other side and they're very very tricky to get back on again so be careful you don't turn this upside down Okay, well, I'll make a video later to show you how to um, reset that as well. Just put the screw back in. And that's it, we're good to go. You've reset, put it back together again. Top back on, put the five screws back in. Um, Reconnect your sensor into the little socket just there. It's very fiddly and very tricky. You'll need long fingernails to get it done or a pair of tweezers. Um, I'll not do it now because I don't want to waste your time watching me fiddling with it. But um, It just goes back in the re socket. And then before you put your lid back on, just remember, put your magnetic disc back in. Okay, so that's resetting the mechanism.